Hello, I, Brian Cairo, and I, Anthony D. Jennifer, are going to demonstrate Graham's Law by using flammable fuel, vinyl tubing, PVC pipes, and bottles. 24 ounce bottles. This is a list of the materials that we used, excluding the bottles, mainly because the bottles are not required and only amplify the sound. So basically what we are building right now are makeshift flamethrowers in order to describe the relationship between molecular mass and the rate of dispersion within... <coughs> what law is this again? Graham's. Graham's law. So obviously, when handling propane or butane, it's flammable equipment, so we need to be careful of our safety. Okay, first warning. Keep torch out of reach of children. Well, that's enough safety for today. No, but seriously, when using a torch, you should be careful. You need to use fire safety gloves. You should use goggles because of the brightness of the fire. And you should probably be aware of the toxic fumes that comes out of propane, butane, or any other flammable equipment. So to demonstrate Graham's law, we're going to look at two different gases, propane and butane. And we're going to compare the dispersion rates at which they flow through the tubes. Propane. So this is the propane model. We use the nozzle in order to hook it in into a vinyl tube. We use the PVC pipe as a base in order to attach it, but you can use any insulator. And then we use a tie or tape, whatever is comfortable for you. Stick it onto, uh, we use the 24 ounce bottle, but whatever works. Be careful because as we test this a couple times, it is gonna shrink. So you have to compensate for that. And then we cut a hole in the bottom of the 24 ounce liter bottle, ounce, sorry, in order to expel the gas out and it'll make a really distinct sound as it expels. And that's what we're going to use in order to measure the different rates. This is the butane model, and remember, do not try this at home. This graph here shows the direct relationship between molar mass and the time of dispersion. In order to calculate the theoretical ratio of the rates of the gases, we first found a molar mass for each. Using those molar masses and the equation for Graham's Law, we found out that propane is estimated to be 1.1481 times faster than butane. Let's compare that to our actual results. After finding our actual results using the timestamps in the videos we took, we found that propane is 1.14 times faster than butane after running the sig figs. Back in the calculated results, we found that propane is 1.1481 times faster than butane. We were actually very surprised and pleased about how close our experimental results were to the calculated results. Some practical applications include propane cooking making a crème brûlée, or just making a cool-looking science fiction gun.